Here we go, yet another computer build. This is going to center around this case. Now, it's going to go into the new Lowland Radio Studio. As part of the setup, I've decided I'm going to keep both of my studios going. The new one, and the one that I've got now. Which means I need to duplicate a lot of stuff. Which means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to build another encoder. Now, I could probably just use one of the capture PCs, but... I bought so much hardware laying around that's not doing anything, and I might as well give something, something to do. And that's really what this is. This is a make-work project for something that otherwise wouldn't have any work to do. So all I need is to get the board installed. It's going to be one of those Asus Q87 boards. Basically exactly what would have come out of here when it was put together. And so that should make this pretty easy to actually set up because this case should basically be configured for it already. I'm going to clone the existing capture P of the existing encoder onto this and hopefully won't have any problems with activation or other things but I guess we'll find out but of course you know gotta stop yakking and start working okay here it is now some design decisions that I've made this already has memory on it this was working when I put it away I don't know if it still is I have installed a video card Again, because I think that the extra video horsepower may be necessary on a system this old. And for drive, I've installed a 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD that was just sitting around. Let's see if this actually works. Should have power now. Should have power now. And it doesn't work. Well, now it works. Well, that's weird. Well, it had power for a second. And it looks like a memory problem. What a surprise. Okay, well, I don't know what I changed. Other than nothing, but now apparently it's decided it wants to work. That's good for it. So, whatever. I think it's 2022, which it's not. So I'll have to go through this, configure it. I'm kind of curious if there's anything on this SSD that's useful. I doubt it. It's probably got Windows 10 on it. It's probably Windows 10 that's been used for domain purposes. Either way, now that the stupid birds are out, this is now ready to go. I just need to get the clone started, which I will do thanks to the magic of video editing. You won't have to wait to see that. But I've got some other projects I want to work on first, so we'll get to that and then get to this. But again, you will have to wait. Okay, come on to the Fog server here. Under images, I've created the image. So now, I have to come over to the computer and PXE boot it. I can grab the keyboard here. There's too much, too many things here. Too many things going on. Let me see, where'd that thing that just fell go? Get that out of the way. Power it up. F8 key. Should give me a menu. Intel boot agent. Boot to that. Should work here. Should give me a menu. At some point. PXE Linux, boot to fog server, run the IPXE stuff, I want to register this host, and I'll go through the usual stuff of registering. Okay, created a capture task for this. Now I'll come back over to the machine, which is now PXE booting again. 
Look to the fog. And it should just go right into it once it loads. I take it a little bit because it's got to do some resizing and all this other stuff. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it works. Let's see how long it takes. It's 6.48 p.m. right now. Okay. Claims that it was a success. I'd say it took probably about 20 minutes-ish, something like that. So I'll let this finish, let it boot up, shut it down, and then I'm going to go get the other machine up here, clean off my work area because my work area is a friggin' disaster, like it usually is, and then we can get that one uh, deployed, deploy the image to that. Hopefully that it works. It should, because it's the same hardware that this encoder used to be. Give or take. I think the motherboard is slightly different. But it's basically the same. Taking a long time to restore the original partition layout. Okay, so this has been sitting for quite a while. Let's see if it actually still works, first of all. I believe I've got that set up correctly. Get a beep. So that's good. It at least survived. In terms of posting, no keyboard detected, even though it's literally right there. Wow, what a surprise. So I'm going to have to go find another keyboard, I guess. Okay. USB keyboard it is then, since apparently the PS2 one doesn't want to work. Right, with the fog. I'm going to see if by some chance I can just simply go to deploy. Alright, once a username and password. Give it the same one as the web interface, which is the right one. Stream encoder. So I don't even have to register this with the server which is good. Now this is out of focus. So I don't really want to. I have the capture card now installed. Oops. Unable to locate image store. Well, that's ridiculous. Okay, I did figure out why it was doing that. Uh, it was actually pretty straightforward. It's because it's trying to load off of one of my storage nodes as opposed to the main fog server and it hasn't deployed or, sorry, propagated to the storage nodes yet. So, I don't know why it was doing that. It's very weird. Could also be that that particular storage node is just completely broken because the, like I said, it's on a VM that is on a disk that keeps disappearing. Anyway, the time is 7.39. Let's see how long this takes. Shouldn't be too bad. Ah, I wasn't paying attention and it rebooted. It's 7.56, just for timing purposes. Let's see if it actually works. It should. Well, kind of. It does need to install drivers, but... Okay, I'm gonna consider this done. Seems to be working just fine, no issues. I did have a problem originally with the capture card not being detected and installing properly, but I just reseeded it, and it's fine now. Hopefully it will continue to be fine forever, or at least until I retire this machine from its purpose here, because it's not going to be permanent. 
The other machine down there is so much better than this one. I'd rather use that, but... Well, they haven't invented a way to clone them yet. Hardware-wise, anyway, so... This is what we've got. I'm going to stop the video there. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them below.